Okay, uh, in this video we're going to uh, check out the, the gym guides uh, uh, icon or tool and uh, we're going to uh, make a head for this uh, uh, stone here. I just went ahead and made this real quick s to show the demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go to our gyms menu of course, click on gym guides, click our stone, hit enter. It'll throw our gym guides out there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go to placement and we're just going to drag it up a little bit. There you go. And uh, we're going to uh, offset it spacing bring it out to maybe a point four that should be fine uh, and then we're also the horizontal gym guides we'll just turn those off for right now so we have them spaced out a little bit and a little bit higher than uh, our girdle of our stone and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hit enter uh, at this point we need our ring rail of course you can't see it right now so uh, sometimes it, it gets hidden as you can see right here it's uh, blacked out so if you just go over to the three dots there uh, you can sh hit show uh, and it'll put your ring rail back out there okay uh, so from here what we're going to do is we'll go to our curves menu and we'll do uh, a blend curve Okay, our first curve will be our gym guide, and our second curve will be uh, our ring rail. And first thing we'll do is we'll just grab this one and snap it right to the end point, uh, so that it's right in there, it, not way out here, just right in there. It just works easiest. Uh, and then this one is going out the wrong way for some reason, so we'll go over here and uh, flip it. And now what we want to do is uh, go go to uh, be able to look at all our maybe this one this one uh, go to uh, wireframe kind of keep an eye on this vi uh, the other views to see how the curves doing and uh, we'll go back to our blends I must have hit uh, we're going to edit it so what we're going to do is uh, we want to drag it down and give it a a nice little shape. So we'll give it something like uh, something like that. Looks okay. If you look here you can see it coming down and around. Yeah, that looks okay. So next what we'll do is uh, go ahead and accept that. Hit enter and we have it took away our top at I don't think we're going to really need it, so I'm going to take this curve here, turn it to gray, because we don't need that either. Uh, and we have our curve out there, and our ring rail is gone, but we can always get that back. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and do that now, uh, and show. All right, so <laughs> let's throw it back out there. All right. Uh, all right, from here it's pretty simple. Uh, there's several things you can do though. Uh, g the gym guides can do a lot uh, and we'll get into more of that later on. Uh, so next what we want to do is we want to go to our uh, tools menu and go to profile placer and we want to profile on that curve we just made and we'll go to uh, looking down view and we'll spin it kind of make it going with our, you can kind of see our rail coming out so we'll kind of make it as close to that as possible. We're going to go ahead and drag it down to uh, I say one maybe for the size stone. Uh, you can probably get away with a little less uh, and I'll take it a one this way so we have a circle. Next thing I'm going to do is drag it in so that when the prongs there we able to cut into it and we have a nice meaty outside for the the prong uh, so it'll wear really good next thing we're going to do is put one down here and let's see we want to drag this one kind of again trying to line it up with that curve and it looks like it's pretty good so we'll just go ahead and accept enter at this point and then we'll just go ahead and do a uh, surface sweep uh, one parametric one two 
three. Okay. And we have our caps, which is fine. And actually, that looks pretty good. All right. So from here, we'll hit uh, uh, enter. Go ahead and put enter. And then we'll go to our transform. We'll go to mirror, dynamic mirror. Uh, select objects, uh, our prong. Hit enter. And it does it one side, but we want all four sides, right? So we'll turn on our X direction, and then we'll hit multi. And that puts them all four on there, and coming down, and it's sticking through our ring. So uh, we'll take that. We'll go ahead and accept that. And the next thing we want to do is we don't want that sticking way down there. So we're going to go to our ring rail. We're going to uh, offset that just slightly. Uh, we'll go ahead and just take that actually and hit enter and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our uh, dynamic commands uh, our, our blend curve and we're going to edit it right now we have our second rel as the ring rel but we're going to change that to uh, this rel here and it just snaps them up there uh, and then you can do a lot from here, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this curve and actually s have the prongs going into our trillion heads. So it looks something like this. Uh, and that looks okay, actually. I could probably make those a little smaller so there's not much in there, but I'm not going to waste your time. Uh, but there's our, our prongs. Yeah, and we'll take a look underneath, and they're not sticking through too much. Uh, it's acceptable. Uh, and uh, we'll hit enter. The only thing you really need to do now at this point is that's probably a little weak, so you probably want to put a little under bezel under there. Uh, so we'll go grab our stone, go to uh, our settings. Uh, under bezel and it throws out this thing here which is kind of a uh, huge so girdle offset we want it in we also want to spin that so that it's more going inside our uh, prongs and we really don't need it that high so we'll make it a little thinner and we'll take our placement down down as well and we'll take a look inside thick top thickness we can go a little thinner yeah points let's just go to point 0.5 take a look so now we have some gap in there which is good uh, bottom thickness let's see bottom thickness 0.5 already offset negative okay yeah that looks good uh, maybe Drag it down just a little bit, a little bit more. That yeah, doesn't matter really. All right, yeah, and that looks good. And there we have it. We just put a little head on there, and we can go back and edit it. We can uh, go to these blend curves again. Say you don't like where they're at, you can move them back, move them around, have them going all different kinds of directions. Uh, and you could also change, you know, when you're throwing up these profiles, you could throw up different profiles to make different uh, uh, rails, uh, style, more stylish rails. So uh, keep all that in mind when you're designing. Uh, try it out and hope this works for you. If so, uh, leave me a like, subscribe, and uh, uh, comment if you can. All right. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, good designing.